Hey guys, DV here. Today we're going to be making a firework using visual effects software from FX Home. This effect can be accomplished using Effects Lab Pro or Vision Lab Studio. To get started here, we're going to drag the particle engine onto the canvas that we've set up. It's just a blank 1920 by 1080 p um, canvas. So we're just going to drag and drop the particle engine. You can see here we have this little um, this these particles that emerge right in the center of the screen. Uh, so to make this look like a firework, the first thing that we have to go ahead and do is adjust the position to have it up a little bit higher where a firework would actually explode if this were the night sky. And then um, then we want to go ahead and adjust some of the emitter attributes. So we can do that just by clicking on the emitter attributes. All the attributes are over off to the side here. We have a number of different options that can be changed. Um, so we, first we want to go ahead and we want to change the duration, just stretch the clip out a little bit longer. So we can do that just by dragging this out. It's pretty good right there. And then we want to go ahead over here and under the textures uh, toolbox we want to go ahead and import some of the textures that are included with the program. Some of the ones that really look good for this effect are the photons and the sparkle effects. So we're going to go ahead and grab a couple of these and we'll go down here and grab a sparkle and then we'll just click open and it's going to import them all and then you can see here we've kind of got um, a little bit of an emitter going on here. It's just spewing particles, um, but it doesn't really look like a firework yet. Um, so what we need to do first is go over back to the emitter attributes, go down to um, the particle uh, particle rate, and we want to up that to about 25 or 30. Okay, that should be pretty good. And then we also want to change the particle lifetime and uh, up that to about 75. Um, you can play around with a couple of these effects and depending on which ones you change some of them work better together than others but I found that these work pretty good um, then you want to go down here um, to relative to canvas and you just want to adjust that just a little bit um, don't worry if it's not perfect about negative 4.70 is pretty good just puts it a little off center there um, but what really makes a difference is when we up the angle to 180 so that the particles come out in full circle instead of just going upwards like they were before you can see now they're just going out um, like all 360 degrees. Um, and then we also want to go ahead and change the scale. On this first frame here, we're going to do a little bit of keyframe uh, tweening here, some animation. On the first scale, we're, or in the first frame, we're going to um, adjust the scale down to about 0 0.38, 0.4. And you can see it's pretty small there, um, but it's going to end up getting a little bit larger because we're going to go ahead down to the end here and as you can see it's gradually becoming larger but it's more of like an o-ring than anything else it doesn't quite look like a firework so we're gonna have to keep working on that just a little bit um, what we can do to kind of adjust that just a bit is um, go about four or five frames in and we're gonna turn the emitter off that way it's not gonna continually spew particles out but rather it's gonna have more of this like um, effect where it just where they stay together and, sit, and like fade out um, like a real firework would. So um, then the next thing we want to go down to do is adjust the particle properties and the color. So if we go ahead and click on the color uh, palette here, it opens up the color gradient and opacity uh, options. And basically what you have here is your color at the beginning of the effect, and then the color at the end is down at the end of the gradient there. So if we just move that down there or just click there. Um, you can adjust the color at the end. So I think I want to do like a green to a blue. So at the end I want to have like a, this bluish color. And um, at the beginning here I'm going to adjust that to be greenish. Okay. And then just click on OK. And you can see here that it's, as it, um, as it like spreads out it becomes blue instead of just green. Um, so that looks pretty cool. Um, another thing we want to go ahead and change is the speed randomizer and we want to up that to about a 1 and we want to change the size randomizer and up that to about 0.6 or 0.7 this usually looks pretty good so we'll just settle for in the middle 0.65 and as you can see it really starts to look like a firework um, not symmetrical anymore um, it's not doesn't look like an o-ring it's just bursting and dissipating as the effect progresses. 
Okay, so now all we have here is the firework that we just created. I just went ahead and changed a couple of the colors so that it matches what I wanted to show you guys how to do next. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to position the cursor right about there as the fireworks beginning to ex um, like explode. And we're going to copy the firework that we've already made. Which is done just by copy object and then control V to paste it in. Now with this one here, I'm going to change it to change the color just a little bit. And we're going to make it go from maybe like um, a red to a purplish. So do like a red. Yeah, like that. Like an orangey red to more of a purple. Um, okay. And what this is going to allow us to do by positioning it right in the middle there um, is that as this one firework explodes, the other one explodes within it. And then the particles kind of mix at the end, and it gives you kind of a cool purplish, uh, bluish um, kind of kind of effect there. Because this purple firework here went from purple to blue, and then this um, this one went from red to purple. So just to not confuse you, I'm going to rename this one and make this a red firework, um, and we're going to call that red. And um, now what we want to go ahead and do is uh, make another firework that's going to explode up in the corner here. And we're going to position the cursor right about here. As these are beginning to explode, we'll have another one that just starts to kind of burst right there. So what we're going to do is go back to the effects and put another particle. Um, this one we're going to also extend, but maybe not quite as much, just a little bit past that. Um, we're going to make this one a smaller firework. So we're going to go ahead and turn up the particle rate to about 32. Particle lifetime, um, I'm going to make that about 79. Again, we're going to adjust relative to canvas. The angle range, this time I'm just going to make it about 110. And um, that's going to, instead of having like the 180 degrees like these, where it goes all the way around, it's just going to have the particles go in kind of like a U shape there. And um, once again, we're going to lower the scale about 0.3 and what this is going to do is the particles are going to come up like this once we add the texture and they're going to do like a U shape like that so we're just going to import some of our textures again um, the photons and sparkle let's see we'll do sparkle um, and where the photons go here we go these bundled uh, textures are really great um, they really help sell some of the effects within the effects lab and vision lab and so you see it kind of does that so we're just going to make some of our adjustments once again like we did with the last one uh, where we adjust the speed randomizer um, to about a to a 1 and size randomizer to about 0.6 do a little over that and we're going to go about 4 or 5 frames in and turn off um, the emitter and what this will do is create a smaller firework just kind of explodes like that so all the stuff to do is kind of adjust the color here this one we're gonna make it um how about we do a green kind of a green or um we do a a blue to a green so get a good blue color there and we'll go to about a kind of a green um, a greenish kind of teal color and this will be our effect just like that so that looks kind of cool um, we'll just actually position that that just a little bit more um, and then we'll go down to the emitter move this up into the top corner here oh wrong keyframe just go ahead delete that keyframe go back to keyframe one for that effect the emitter and we'll just move the firework up there and this is our effect so far looks pretty cool okay so now one other thing that I wanted to show you guys how to do is to add kind of like a rocket effect where you'd see here we'll go ahead and turn that on where you'd see this kind of like rocket type thing going up and then bursting into that smaller firework up at the top there. 
Uh, and the way that that was accomplished was, we're just going to close these, um, was just by changing some of the emitter attributes, just the way we did with some of the particle, uh, with the particle engine. So all we did was we dragged the particle engine onto the timeline, or onto the canvas, and we uh, we added some of the same kind of textures that we had used the last time, some of the photons and sparkle. And uh, what we came down and did was change the particle max to only about 90, 93, and we changed the rate to 4, and then the life down, down to 1, which kind of gives it um, this kind of a look here, where it's kind of like a pulsating kind of rocket um, kind of light thing. Um, so that's kind of what we did there. And uh, all we did was at the beginning here, we had the scale set at 1, so that it looked closer to you because it is. It's down at the ground, just off the edge of the canvas there, um, as you can see. It comes there, and then as it as the effect progresses, it's moving like an animation, motion tween thing, and the scale is changing to about um, a 0.6, um, where it'll look farther away, like it's actually up inside, like up in the night sky there, um, as it's moving away from you. And then the next frame is where it begins to burst into the firework there. Um, and some of the other things we did, we kind of changed it. We effect, it changed the colors just a little bit. We did from this little purplish blue up to like the bright blue that matched our small firework there. And um, we adjusted the color randomizer to about 0.38, um, which kind of gives it that kind of effect where it's changing between like a shimmering purple and blue. And um, yeah, that's basically, that's basically all we did to make that kind of thing. Um, we also changed the the origin there at the first keyframe um, the first frame of the firework defect we have the origin is right there down at the bottom of the canvas and at the end there um, it's been tweened and animated just so that it's up at the end there which is done just by like, dragging it and then just dropping it in place to line up with the uh, bursting firework effect uh, so that's basically how you make fireworks hopefully you've learned something about the particle engine and just in time for the fourth of july um, enjoy the holiday.